want to show you guys a surprise today. I do still have my fifth wheel, but the fifth wheel is in the shop for an unset amount of time, getting some repairs done for some warranty work. So I went ahead and bought this 1994 Texan cab over truck camper and to live in pretty much until my camp, my other camper gets done. Plus I, I think that this would be a little nicer to uh, I feel like this thing will be better for, for little trips instead of dragging a big fifth wheel everywhere all the time. So I'm getting it kind of decked out. I was going to show you guys a little bit of what, uh, what, what I got going on here. Uh, it's super small. There's no slide outs. So here I am back by the door and then I have right here on the side, I have a little couch that does slide out, makes, uh, you know, a bed. The couch is all right. It's, it's kind of comfortable. There's also a spot to put a table down here. You just put the pole in and a table sits here. I, I, I took the table out just because it's kind of pointless. I don't think I'll ever use it. Uh, I have one little drawer, which currently I just have miscellaneous stuff in it because I've been working on this thing. There's been a lot of things wrong with this. Um, here is actually the new... Here's actually the new handles I'm going to put in. There's the old ones. So I'm going to replace all those. Uh, we got a little hanging closet here. Have my little thermostat that does not run off batteries. That way I can always see what the temperature is in here since the thermostat, or since there's not really a thermostat on the air conditioner. Got a small little microwave, which I put a magnet on a few of the cabinets and that keeps it open. And it seems like a lot of times the truck is leaning to the right or towards the, towards the front. And then every time you're trying to get in the microwave and this thing just starts shutting like this. So I put a magnet on it, keep it open. Anyways, so I got a little, got a little microwave in there. Got my TV on a swivel mount so I can swivel it over and watch it in bed. Another little cabinet here. I don't have a whole lot of space, just the bare minimum stuff. So I ended up putting the baskets. These have spatulas and scissors and knives, stuff like that in here. Here's my plastic silverware, paper cups. I installed some 12 volt fans. Uh, these right here, actually, this holds my plates and cup or plates and uh, bowls. This is soap and you know scrubby pad and all that stuff. But these are actually screwed down so they don't go anywhere. Same with the blinds; they have the little stays at the bottom to keep them from going anywhere. It's got a three burner stove, which unfortunately the microwave fell out the first day I bought it and broke my knob off here in the middle. So I'm gonna have to fix that next. It does have a little oven. I don't know if I use it much. So uh, here is the bed. It's kind of messy, but I have my computer and my mm, filming equipment. And then I've got myself a little fan right here and sneak around the corner. And I have a basket on the wall. That's where I put TV remote and my cell phone and things like that. It does have a refrigerator. And it does work. When I bought it, it wasn't working. Um, kind of find out there was just a loose wire, so I fixed that. This is where the... Oops. This is where the original table that was right here went. But I decided to put a fold-up table to put outside rather than the table in here. And the fire extinguisher and what fell out was the crank. These are kind of all the parts that are for the camper. There we go. So hand crank for the jacks, things like that. Place for my hat, which these are necessary in Arizona. Some fly swatter. The windows actually open, let out a pretty good breeze. I have the the awning. If I don't know if you can see it, 
of the awning out this side. I just put the awning on today and um, I'm trying to glue, well, I, 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 I screwed it in, but I, I'm siliconing it at, at a certain angle. So I've got it sitting out all night to dry. I don't know if you can see that, but I got it sitting out all night at that angle. I caulked the top and then I'm gonna let the caulking dry so it stays at that angle. We got another little window here, which is tinted, one that I like. That usually stays open when I'm driving. And then the door, which has been worked on. Somebody, I guess, replaced the window, put some plywood on, but you know, it still works. I'll get my little clock up there, my keys hanging. And the bathroom. The bathroom sucks, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of my storage shed slash, you know, storage shed like for my lawn chair slash trash can, towel holder, dirty clothes, toilet, the shower pan. You get your shower that comes out here. I'm drying my loofah right there. Medicine cabinet actually opens. And there is a sink down in here. Mm, but, uh, you know, I don't really use the sink, so everything is just storage in there. And then, yes, when I need to use the shower or the toilet or anything, I got to take out a bunch of stuff. Mm, I've got the little heater there. It does have air conditioning. So that's awesome. It does have air conditioning, and I do have a water tank down there. I believe it's 20 gallons. It holds. Now I got my my barbecue grill just kind of crammed in the corner here, but I don't know. I do have some future plans. I've been fixing everything when I got this. Almost nothing worked. None of the outlets worked. So I fixed those. The fridge didn't work. I fixed that. The plumbing didn't work. So I had to replumb everything. Uh, oh, and it leaked in that front corner up there. I think, I think it was that front corner. It was leaking. So I fixed that and put new blinds up. That's about it. I mean, there's there's enough storage to survive in here, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking we're gonna do a few trips in this and and kind of leave the fifth wheel parked just for a little while. Um, but like on longer trips, I actually have a longer trip planned. I think it's in two weeks and uh, I think I'm gonna bring the fifth wheel on that because I'll be gone in the woods for a week boondocking and this this setup is, is all right but it's very hard to shower it doesn't hold a lot of water the black tank probably only maybe five gallons tops um, so I don't know I uh, it's hot right now because I have the air conditioner off just for you guys like film this I'm gonna go out here just for a second. Maybe you can see, I don't know. Okay. So, here's the inside. Got a nice screen door, which I'm definitely keeping shut because there's a ton of mosquitoes right now. And to replace the porch light. Here's where the black tank comes out. Oh, this didn't work either. I had to replace this valve, put a cap on it. Uh, it's pretty pretty easily accessible to dump everything. This here is a little tote that I screwed on. And yes, there's locks. Uh, this pretty much just got the sewer hose in it. So I can just take it out, hook it up, dump it, go. That's it. Uh, we have this exterior little platform, um, mainly to hold the generator, which is a Furman 3300. Mm. I know this is a short video, but I just want to show you guys everything and show you guys a new surprise. Oh, you know what? I had to put a new faucet in too. The faucet didn't work. I'm pretty sure the heat actually doesn't even work. I haven't even looked into that yet. So, also, uh, I'll probably have some videos on 
working on this. I, I have some, some more mechanical things to do. Working on the heater. I have to switch out the propane tanks because they're too old to get recertified. Uh, I'm going to paint the walls. Uh, right now it's just got a uh, primer on them. But I'm going to paint them. I'm also going to paint all the cabinets. On the ceiling. Oh, and I'm going to put that. I might put something else, like a wood topper that's stained or something rather than carpet because it's pretty much just a step. I don't, I don't, I don't get why they put carpet there. And then uh, also the floor, a little, little dated. So I'm going to replace the floor. So I'll, I'll have some pretty cool videos on this coming up. Uh, some repairs and some fixing up and stuff like that. So all right, I know this video is short, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. And I wanted to show you the surprise. So here it is. Anyways, uh, you guys have a good one. Be safe. Don't text and drive. I don't know. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hey, real quick, if you're tired of working so much and you want to learn how to work less and enjoy life more, just hit that subscribe button down there real quick, man. Thanks. Be safe out there.